what's up guys my name is of course Tom welcome to Techstream and today we're taking a quick look at coolers for Z370 and 8th gen Intel processors so don't forget if you've not already subscribed to our channel do click that that subscribe button down below to keep in touch with all of our latest videos and on that note let's roll on the intro So guys, if you take a look down below, we've got a couple of links to some of our other videos we've just recently done, where we've been working with MSI to take a look at the new Z370 motherboards and the 8600K processor. That'll be, and that'll be this baby. And if you are in the market for a Z370 motherboard, definitely give it a check. Absolute stonking motherboard. So thank you very much to the guys at MSI. And here's the coolers that we gave a test with. Uh, what we've got here, we've got the Arctic Freezer 33 eSport Edition. We have got the ID Cooling Aura Flow 240. And the CryoRig A40. So what we've got is we've got a medium priced sort of 30, 35 pound air cooler. We've got a budget priced 240 mil water cooler. This one comes in at about 70, 75 pound. Uh, and then we've got the more premium priced Prior Rig A40. Uh, this one's nearly a hundred. Um, let's see how they perform. Let's bring up some benchmarks then. So as you can see, there's actually very little difference between them. Yes, the Arctic cooler is a little bit warmer, but I was very surprised to see that on an 8600K running at five gig, they all work really well. Um, there was, I mean, my, my room temperature was 20 degrees. All of those performance figures you just saw were Delta T. So that is the difference difference don't forget between air temperature and processor temperature so uh, 60 degrees was actually 80 okay so 60 degrees on that chart for example would be looking at 80 degrees full load now we did two sets of uh, real testing when it came to this we did uh, the IDA 64 test which is a, a full out and out stress test absolute maximum low worst case scenario so to be honest with you, ignore those temperatures. They're not that relevant. Uh, we then did some, some sort of gaming simulated tests of what you get in gaming. That was done with Unigen Heaven. So the gaming PC, that's the sort of figures you're gonna be looking at while playing games. So as you can see, Arctic cool Cooler still more than capable. ID Cooler coming in at a second. Normally a sort of like sort of seven, eight, nine degree temperature difference between the Arctic and the Aura Flow. And then a couple of degrees, literally two, sometimes three degrees cooler than that again. We've got the Cryo Rig A40. Um, they almost definitely did their job. As for which one you're gonna go for, a lot of it is gonna actually depend on the system that you've got. Now, if you've not got space for a water cooler, or you've not got the budget, a Freezer 33 is going to fit and it is going to do the job. But if you've got space for a water cooler and you've got space and you've got space in the budget to buy one, I would definitely be looking at these. Now, as for which one you go for, you've got an all RGB, all fancy, really cool looking thing. That's the ID cooling. Then you've got the Cryo Rig. Now, the Cryo Rig better performing yes you pay for it but you pay for the performance pay for looks pay for performance and also if you're using a case with very little in the way of other airflow this is not maybe the best solution cryo rig include a little fan that clips on top of the pump that blows direct air onto all your vrms everything around and about the motherboard just to keep it cool so if you're looking to keep the rest of it cool 
this is definitely going to be beneficial. So it's, it's, it's really hard to say what is the best because there isn't one. It's going to depend entirely on your situation. There's no point in me saying this is the best, right? When you're in a, a tempered glass case that is all see-through, you see absolutely everything and you've got amazing cross flow across the case already. At which point I'm going to say, go for the RGB, come on. You could be building yourself a small budget machine. You don't want to be spending 75 plus pound, maybe 100 pound on a cooler. You just want to spend 30, 35 quid. It's going to do the job. Or you're doing a small case where you don't actually have fitment. Or an older case where you don't have fitment. That's going to do the job. Or you are building something more like a workstation maybe. Prior Rig A4 C is going to come in there. It doesn't look quite so good. Not got so much RGB. Or, or you've got the budget where you're using RGB already, maybe. Then go for the cryo rig. But as for which one you go for, it's quite a difficult one to say. And there's only one last thing to note. And that is, of course, the thank yous. We've got to say a big thank you to Arctic Cooling, ID Cooling, cryo rig, and jump us more on that one in a second for sending these over for me to play with thank you very much guys really appreciate your support we're only new getting all getting used to this now great fun thank you very much i hope to work with all of these guys more in the future if there's anything from them you want to see do let me know i'll always put the request in um, but the final thing is jump us i've got to say a big thank you to them for sending us over their thermal compounds we wanted a reference compound to use with these coolers because we're testing the coolers, not the compounds. Cheap compound is a waste of money. So they sent us over some of their Nano Diamond jump, uh, compound. Absolutely fantastic. It gave us a nice reference so that we can say that we're using better compounds with one than another to make the difference in the scores. So there we go. Jump us. Definitely worth a shout. Again, links to it everything that we have used in this down below in the description and thank you very much guys for coming along don't forget if you like our work give us a subscribe give us a thumbs up give us a like give us some comments let me know what i can improve on where you think i'm going well where you think i'm going wrong and on that note i'll see you all again soon guys thank you very much and bye for now